My name is Laura Klein. Today I'm going to talk about my favorite healthy treat, chocolate, and why it's good for you. We're going to make two easy recipes that are going to be a smash hit at your next party. And better yet, they're easy to do. The first one is chocolate fondue. And just for fun, we're going to make chocolate martinis. We're going to start off by melting the chocolate. I don't want to put the chocolate directly over the heat. I'm only going to add just about an inch and a half of water, which is really about your first knuckle. I'm going to put it over medium-high heat to bring it to a simmer. One of my favorite things to eat with chocolate fondue are bananas. These taste so yummy with really fabulous chocolate, and everyone else loves it as well. All you have to do is simply cut off the top, Peel it, and then I'm just going to slice it on the bias. They have such a divine flavor when you pair it with chocolate, and your guests are going to love it. Now I'm going to take a peek at my water and see if we're at a simmer. Yep. So I've got two cups of chips, and the reason why I've chosen chips is because they melt a lot easier. You know, a lot of people buy these huge blocks of chocolate, which actually I love because it's really fun to cook with, but it's a lot of work to chop them up. Believe me, I've spent many parties prepping and cutting up chocolate that just takes too much time. So this is a quick and easy time saver. So. I want to check on this, and take a peek, and see how we're doing. All right, the chocolate melts pretty quick, so you want to keep an eye on it. But I've got a few minutes. So I'm going to come back here, and I'm going to prepare my fruit. This is another really easy thing. All I've done, I've just gone to the store and bought these fresh berries, and they're so simple and, again, elegant. And all you have to do is wash them. I didn't even. You don't really even have to cut these. And we're just going to display them in a beautiful ray out on the serving platter. I'm going to take another peek at my chocolate. It's melting well and it's melting quickly. But we're not quite there yet. So the next thing I'm going to do is prepare my fondue dish. I've chosen a ceramic fondue pot because this conducts heat really well. You don't want a thin metal pan because, again, you can risk scorching your chocolate. In fact, this too is a double boiler, but I'm just going to add about half an inch of water. And this is going to kind of diffuse the heat for the chocolate. Now for my heat, I'm not using a real high heat element, I'm just using a tea light candle because all you want to do is just keep the chocolate warm to keep it smooth and runny so it has a nice viscosity. And this is actually going to heat up the water and it just takes a moment. So let's take another peek at the chocolate. Ooh, this is really looking beautiful. Look at this. This is really nice consistency, and in fact, I think we're there. Now I'm gonna share with you another secret when cooking with chocolate. And this is really important, because this will make or break your dessert. You never wanna mix water and chocolate. Why? Because it'll seize. So I'm gonna use my rag to simply wipe all the water condensation off the bottom. Look at that, that is absolutely beautiful. And you know what, it smells amazing. This is what you get with really good quality chocolate. The healthiest chocolate is at least 70% chocolate solids. 
And that's the kind of chocolate you wanna choose for your chocolate fondue, or if you're gonna snack on it during the week, that's exactly what I use. So next, now just for fun, we're gonna make chocolate martinis. This is gonna be such a hit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rim the martini glass. So all you have to do is simply rim the glass in the leftover chocolate. And see, you have that beautiful, gorgeous chocolate rim. We're gonna add even more, it's not over. Next, I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of chocolate inside the glass for a little decor, which makes it look absolutely beautiful. Glass number two, we're gonna rim it. And then we're gonna drizzle a little chocolate. Oops, and this is kind of part of the fun when working with chocolate is usually you make a mess. And if you aren't making a mess in the kitchen, you're not having any fun. Okay. So now I wanna put these glasses in the freezer for just about five minutes because I want the chocolate to be hard when I pour the martini in it. And now for the fun part, the chocolate martinis. I've got my shaker and I'm gonna fill it all the way to the top with some ice. I'm gonna really pack it in here because I want a really cold martini. Fill it up and I'm gonna add two parts vodka. I've got my little measuring cup here and I'm gonna fill it just about to the rim. I've got my creme de coco and this is gonna be just one part. So I'm gonna fill it up halfway. For the secret ingredient, vanilla liqueur. This is gonna make it really over the top. All right. The next step is you wanna shake it until you can't hold it anymore. That is really cold. You wanna shake it until it's ice cold because little ice crystals are gonna form and it gives the martini a really great texture. Oops. So I'm gonna pour it almost to the top, but not all the way because martini glasses, they spill kinda easy. So you wanna give your guest a little breathing room. And for the final touch, we're gonna add a little bit of coffee liqueur for a little bit of flavor and a little bit of color. And for the final touch, I'm gonna garnish it off with some fresh chocolate mint. This stuff is so amazing. It actually tastes and smells like chocolate mint, but there's no chocolate in it. I'm gonna add a little bit to my glasses for a little touch. And finally, we get to dig in. is so tasty and so decadent. Your guests are gonna love it. And now for the chocolate martini. Wow, the chocolate on the rim is such a wonderful introduction to the martini. It's truly divine. Your guests are gonna love this. This is such a simple and healthy treat that's so easy to prepare. My name is Laura Klein, and thank you for watching Better Living with Laura Klein.